I actually need this trailer because I've been sitting around, you know, really feeling like I took a loss. Like I can't even, I can't even look at a Marvel comic book right now without feeling like that shit. That should be hurting. That shit hurt, that shit hurts. Yo. So this is a post end game. Now, before end game was out, I saw Far From Home, and and it was my assumption that that this happened before, before yeah. Infinity War and End Game. I think now we know it's pretty much after End Game. That's that's confirmed. So okay, I was I was wrong on that one. Although I was right on you know a couple other things, but you know this one I, I didn't call that one. So um, this is the first official trailer for Far From Home. So um. Am I the only nigga that's been depressed since in the game? Nah, nah. A lot, a lot of people, a lot of people ain't been going through it. They've been going through the uh, the twenty stages of grief, and then a lot of y'all motherfuckers gonna watch Game of Thrones too to add on top of it. So, Me? and I've been going deeper and deeper. I don't know why y'all want to do that, but I mean, even me, I, I've seen Endgame three times. So, so you, you've killed yourself three you times. Know, I, I know, I know how it feels. Although, you know, the. The devastation gets lessened a little bit the more the more you see it. Fantastic movie, phenomenal. I still give it a ten out of ten, and uh, I'm gonna go see it again in 40x, and that, that that'll be you know where you know where I call it, right right then and there. So um, I, I'm gonna assume that uh, if you haven't seen Endgame, you wouldn't watch this trailer because I'm. This I would gonna, hope not. This is gonna be post Endgame, so you know it's gonna let you know. Some shit that happens. So you know, if you ever see Endgame, you 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 know, common sense got to kick in. Don't watch this until you go see it. I actually need this trailer because I've been sitting around, you know, really feeling like I took a loss. Like I can't even, I can't even look at a Marvel comic book right now without feeling like that shit. That should be hurting. That shit hurt, that shit hurts. Yo. Like like the end of an era. You see that, and it's like it's a send off, and then you know. You start feeling all kinds of emotions that that you felt reading the comic book, but then you feel it even 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 deeper when you see it on the big screen. Right, the, the, you you know you sitting in the dark and shit. You feel like you just you know had a breakup. You you going down memory lane and mm -hmm. shit, trying to figure out. Oh, damn, I remember when I went to go see. I'm yeah. not instead of playing R and B on the radio. You playing right. You you're playing Marvel movie themes. You are playing the theme Black Panther and Guardians of the Galaxy and all that. You just playing that on on loop on your phone, whatever like that. Eating ice cream or, or you know having snacks, just a whole bunch of candy and, and, and greasy stuff. <laughs> you read Pizza Hut. You watching Marvel movies, the Titanic song playing mm -hmm. in the back. You trying to figure out where your life you is watching going. Watching black and white and shit. And just like, <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all coming back. You know, the whole the whole twenty one movie journey right, and, and, and it's like that. It is what it is. So this is necessary. Yeah. Like, it's, like we, we need this we right need now. This. We need this. So Spider Man Far From Home. Let's check it out because uh, this this is what niggas need right now. Like everybody need this shit. This is more than a pick me up. This is a... the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play. But if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching. Even he telling some you some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Damn. He's very missing. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Ooh. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh, damn! Keep up the good work. <laughs> I am going on vacation. Look at this suit! Got him! You see that in your suit? Yep. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Fury. Answer the Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk. But I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. Hey, Clerks. What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo. Oh. Damn. I'm sure you likes me. I don't know if you and I first fell Got him. You're a very difficult person to contact. You won't answer my, my call, motherfucker. This is Mr. Beck. 
the pollution like you are my world. New world? Big is preferred, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. Whoa! You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. Multiverse? You know what that means? There's gotta be something else you can lose. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel, unavailable. The curse is coming in with Spider Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. <laughs> 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 I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider Man. No, the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. Kind of obvious. Damn! may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Damn! Oh, I my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? That's a motherfucking trailer! Right. Right. It's a guy down in here. Get on the jet! Who are you? I work with Spider Man. You work with Spider Man? I work with Spider Man, not more Spider Man. Damn. New plan! Yo. Where it is okay, so I need a few things to write down to make sure we get all everything together. Mm -hmm. First of all, when we when we saw the first Spider-Man trailer earlier this year. It didn't give you the same feel that it's giving you now. Yeah. Because certain things you didn't know. Now now you know. And that, he addressed right. it in the trailer. Right off the bat, it's like, yeah, so, you know, Iron Man's gone. You know, he... You he, going... Yeah, he made that sacrifice, so, you know, don't let it be in vain. Because he did it knowing that you'd be cool and, and handling shit in his, in his absence. So, do what you gotta do. And other than that, look at what she said to him. You ever watch a you ever watch a comic book movie or show and be like, well, why can't you just ask the other heroes to help you out for the mm -hmm. moment? They legit just touch base on what I always wanted somebody to touch base on. Um, what about Captain Marvel? Unavailable. Where, where, where are these motherfuckers? <laughs> <at? Like, laughs> why is it just me? Like, where they at? Like, like, they they not here, so you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. So now they address the fact that when he when he snapped, it 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 you know pretty much did the multiverse thing. So now they address the multiverse, which means they. The possibilities are endless. Now we can bring in X Men, we can bring in Deadpool, we can bring in whatever. And then I can see, you know, Phoenix and, and Scarlet Witch slap box for the first time, which I need to see. Yeah, I they're, just, they're not I doing that shit because right now Dark Phoenix is still, you know, with Fox, even though that's the last Fox movie. But I don't think she would come all the way over here in the multiverse just to fight, just to start, you know, doing this. Like they ain't worried about that. They're not trying to tear holes in plants and all that. Right, plus she's with Fox, so she loses automatically round one. I mean, well, we'll see how Dark Phoenix does. Hopefully, you know, when, that, when that's done, then they can come over here to, to you know, the MCU and make, make it happen. And uh, hopefully we can get that new mutants, because uh, I don't know what's going on with that, because, you know what I mean, that, that looked crazy. You know, uh, that's, that's somewhere in space, nigga. They don't snap his fingers and put that shit back into... Listen, well, they, 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 they did snap remixes in Endgame, so they need to bring that shit back. All I know is Far From Home looks fucking dope. It, it looks, and I loved, I loved Homecoming. And Homecoming, when I saw it, it became my favorite Spider-Man movie. And I'm talking about above the, uh, the Sam Raimi joints. And then they, they were legendary to me. I mean, it's still like neck and neck, but Homecoming kind of edged it out. So Homecoming became my, my, uh, my favorite Spider-Man movie. I think Far From Home is going to top Homecoming. From, far From Home, yeah. I think it's going to top uh, but, Homecoming. For to real. me, it's going to top about a lot. And I mean, shit, I, I can't go inside Best Buy and watch the Marvel movies anymore because they started to realize what I'm doing up in there. Yeah, <laughs> especially after the end game. They sitting there snapping. <laughs> security? <laughs> security. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. They, they're not having that shit. This shit is out. Man, this. I keep telling people this, this, this latest, this end game movie, it meant more to comic book lovers and, and these movie lovers yeah. than what people think. You really have to go back to, what, 2008 when Iron Man's first movie dropped? You've been watching him since then. You've been watching all these movies, and you really go down memory lane talk, telling yourself, damn, this is gone. Yeah, and I mean, you can't look at it like it's a regular movie. Some people try to judge it. Well, you know, there's plot holes and this, this, this. Like, don't you, you, you can't judge it like a movie because it's not, it's not just here to be a movie. It's here to be, like, an event for, for, for comic book fans, people that have been on the, on the ride of this whole MCU journey since Iron Man 1. Like, it's here to be fan service. It's here to be just... An amazing, an amazing event that we all can come together and watch and just experience and be happy about. 
like, and the fact this this is coming directly after Endgame, and it addresses everything in Endgame, that's that's incredible, man. That's that's gonna be incredible, and and I know it's probably gonna hurt because they're probably gonna address you know some Tony a lot of Tony Stark stuff. Man, nigga, if I could, I would fast forward into the like press that projector release. Like I, what's this shit? Man, listen, I'm not ready this, for that. You know that. This whole this whole Spider Man thing, like listen, Spider Man been with us for a long, long fucking time, but like right now, on screen, it's the best Spider Man's ever been. It's the best comic book movies have ever been. Like we never got this before. Like and it started with, with I believe with, with Blade. It, it started with Blade, and then you know we had X Men, and then you know the rest of them. They they were some <laughs> you know. That Fantastic Four bullshit, I don't know what that was, but, was you know, fun. Na- the, the, the Michael B. Jordan one? Yeah, that, that Cause bullshit. Because the other ones were fun to me. I mean, the first one was cool, the the, the, the one with the Galactus Cloud was, I don't know what the fuck that shit was. <laughs> I don't I don't know the who. Galactus Cloud. Yeah, it's like they spent all the CG money on, on Silver Surfer, like, we ain't got no fucking money, what we gonna do with Galactus? Just make him smoke, <laughs> okay. He's smoking now. <laughs> the fucking weather forecast. Yeah, it's, it's like the, the Doppler radar, like, I mean, <laughs> right. got, got the fucking... Nigga from the news, like, it's right here, it's gonna be cloudy, you know, oh, that's Galactus. <laughs> so who's the villain of this movie? So if you look towards Wednesday, you <laughs> Like, this, this whole mass here, that's Galactus. Like, no, it ain't. When did Galactus become a Nimbus cloud? Like, no, 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 that's, that's, that's not it. But now they, you know, can actually do them right and, and all that, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a hell of a thing, man. So you're gonna have his whole suit and everything and shit. Man, listen, the fact that, that they got this shit, hell yeah. That's a nice spin, kind of making Mysterio, like, a good guy. Because I can't remember, maybe, I think maybe in the comics he was good for a little bit, like he kind of flip flopped a little bit, but uh, making him like from the multiverse, that's that's insane, right? And Fury and them already knowing of him, yeah. Trying to get so so that means are they gonna experience? Are they gonna are they gonna explore the multiverse in this movie, or are they gonna just say he from the multiverse? We'll, we'll address that shit later. I don't know. Either way, I'm with it. Day one, I'm there. I can't wait to see it. Like, listen, Far From Home is a day one. That's the day motherfucking one. So I can't wait to see that shit. I cannot fucking wait. Discount. Look it up. 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 Discount. Look it up, discount, look it up. The music's already started. I like shit like that, I like over the top. So you guys are being hunted by an army of mercenaries. Gosh. Led by a genetically enhanced soldier. Look at me. I'm Black Superman. You're crazy. 